The extinction of an animal can evoke sadness, although there are instances when this sentiment doesn't apply. Certain animals are undeniably so terrifying that we reluctantly find relief in their absence. Despite the harshness of this perspective, it's hard to deny the dread these creatures inspire. It's a somewhat unsettling relief that they're no longer a part of the world we inhabit. Number 7. Gigantopithecus The largest ape to ever walk the earth, Gigantopithecus, was a distant relation to the modern-day orangutan, but just how and why they died out is not really understood. While there's not actually a huge amount that's known about this primate, what has been established is that these creatures were around 10 feet tall and weighed around 595 pounds, so they would cut quite the imposing figure. Then the fossils that have been found suggest that Gigantopithecus went extinct about 100,000 years ago in China, but unfortunately, there have been very few discoveries of these colossal creatures' skeletons that may have something to do with the fact that their teeth used to be sold in pharmacies as dragon's teeth. This being a very popular, traditional Chinese medicine for curing all kinds of ailments. It could simply be that most of the examples of Tychus teeth and jaws have been lost in the past through this pharmacy-based distribution system. The teeth that have been discovered do offer some clues to the demise of the huge ape. It's believed that the wear and tear on the molders show that the animal ate a restricted diet of plants exclusively from the forest, but because of its massive size, its food requirements were great and as their habitat trans so did their food source, and they simply died out because they were too big to thrive. Number 6. Pelagornis sandersi The massive bird that had a truly enormous wingspan of up to 24 feet, or the height of a two-story building. Just for comparison, this is almost twice the size of today's bird with the biggest wingspan, the wandering albatross. So this was a blooming big bird. Then the Pegoni Sander Sea was, flying around the skies about 25 million years ago, and fossils of this mega bird would first be discovered in Charleston, South Carolina. Back in 1983, scientists at North Carolina State University in Raleigh have been poking around to see if they can piece together the puzzle of this massive and very extinct bird. What they have established is that these creatures were hanging out all along the ocean fronts of the North American coastline, and frankly, they were a menace. Not in the way that badly behaved seagulls might steal a toddler's ice cream. No, these birds, they had teeth. Oh, and they used them to impale their prey. Truly terrifying, and frankly, you should be glad that these monsters are extinct. Number five. Edestus. As if modern-day sharks weren't scary enough. Here's a prehistoric variety that had a uniquely sharp-toothed mouth, the look of which could gnaw into your nightmares and give you some very bad dreams. Indeed, this is the Edestus, also known as the scissor-toothed shark. A name that gets the imagination into gear, that's for sure the unusual fossils of this. Animals' jaws have given scientists plenty of sleepless nights and not because they are so much scared of them as they have been profoundly puzzled. This shark appears to have measured around 20 feet long, but that's not what was unusual about it. There are even sharks around today with similar vital statistics. What caused all the head scratching was actually to be found within the shark's jaw. Modern-day sharks will lose teeth and regrow them as they become worn or damaged, but this scissor tooth kept a hold of all of their teeth, but grew new ones as well. As the new ones grew, they pushed the older teeth forward and caused them to protrude from the shark's mouth, turning the whole of the jaw area into a set of serrated shears, whether or not they used their teeth like scissors to chomp up and down on their prey, and to chop it into pieces is still being discussed amongst the science nerds. Another terrifying theory that they've suggested is that this shark used its jagged pointy mouth as a battering ram, pounding it straight into its prey and slicing and shearing through the flesh and bone, causing instant bloody carnage. Number 4. Meganeura Now this is possibly the largest insect to have ever lived, and it's a monster. The Meganeura was a dragonfly that was the size of a ruddy great big eagle. Just think about that for a moment. An eagle that puts the wingspan of this insect at around two and a half feet or more. The most odd thing about them, however, is that other than their size, these titanic insects were basically exactly the same as our contemporary dragonflies. 
So other than looking scary on the account of their colossal scale, these mega neuro were really just going about their business as you would expect them to spend most of their lives in the air, landing to mate and lay eggs and also to hide from predators. Other than that, they were just minding their own business, being regular, albeit substantially sized dragonflies. Number three, Anomalocaris. Now credit where it's due. This one is weird looking, but before we get all judgy and make a load of assumptions based on its appearance, we should really find out if this long, extinct animal was anything to be terrified about. First up, we have the name Anomalocaris of Charis comes from the Greek and simply means unusual shrimp, which doesn't sound too scary so far. But when you consider that this sea creature hasn't really been around in 530 million years, then you know it isn't much to spend your days worrying about. Finally, though it turns out that despite those things, it was actually a pretty fearsome predator in its day. The unusual shrimp was also a badass. It grew up to be about six feet long, which is kind of big for a shrimp and had super sharp vision. This made it a proper scary prospect in all of those prehistoric waters. The shape of it was also well adapted to efficient hunting with a kind of armored body that undulated to move through the water and a pair of grabbers at the front of its head. This shrimp could use its excellent eyesight to stalk prey silently and then grab a hold of it with ruthless speed. Once caught, the prey could then anticipate a rather unpleasant, crushing to death in the shrimp's horrible mouth. And despite all of its apparent excellent hunting skills and apparent body armor, this creature didn't survive the so-called Great Parent Extinction when 90% of life off Earth suddenly went extinct. Sucks for them, but probably a positive for humans. Number two, Megatherium. A supersized sloth may not sound like the most terrifying of animals. I mean, these things are the cute little sleepy creatures that are often drawn as sweet illustrations on greeting cards and baby clothing, aren't they? Well, it turns out the Megatherium was less cute of a cartoon and more of a colossal carnivore. So put what you think you know about sloths aside for the moment. Back in the early Pleistocene epoch around 5 million years ago, there was a very particular type of ground sloth that hung around in South Africa. These were up to 10 times the size of today's sloths and could weigh up to 4 tons. That's right. These things were elephant-sized. They'd also walked around on their hind legs like people do, and this little fact makes it the largest. Upright walking, bipedal mammal that's ever lived. Although not strict carnivores, the general shape and structure of the megatherium suggests that they likely hunted other animals as well as gathered food from their habitats. Despite how scary the sheer size of these sloths may seem, they did actually cross crossover with early humans for a while. And guess what? They didn't win. In fact, there's evidence that people were eating the megatherium rather than the other way around. Number one, Arthropleura. And here we are, as promised, the gigantic millipede. Well done for hanging on for all that time. I know it's what you've been waiting for the Arthropleura lived in North America and Great Britain during an era known as the Carboniferous Period. And yes, this insect was 20 foot long as a millipede with a body that was made up of 30 armored plates with a pair of legs under each and every one of them. They ate dead wood and leaves and thrived due to the concentration of oxygen in the atmosphere on Earth at the time. And this is what scientists believe caused these creatures to grow such a remarkable size without much in the way of vision. The monster insect probably had heightened senses of smell and touch. Also that it could find food and sense other animals around it. Despite the fact that this was the largest invertebrate to have ever lived, it seems that the Arthropleura was a vegetarian and the only thing to fear from this humongous animal is when it crawls across your face while you're sleeping. What weird and wonderful creatures have we been lucky enough to avoid in our time on Earth? There are some real horrors out there for sure and plenty to fuel some vivid and sweaty nightmares. For those of you who are that way inclined, which one's given you the willies? Also, don't forget to let us know about your elaborate nightmares in the comments below. Check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen and I'll see you next time.